two games that could shape the five coming your way on AFL Today. Time for this week's winner of the $1,000 Westpac bonus game on today was of course at the MCG and this, like our first highlights game, was like an elimination final. St Kilda and Melbourne particularly for the Saints. Melbourne of course wanted to stay up at the top of the ladder with Essendon and Collingwood. St Kilda had to win today to keep their finals hopes alive. They brought Jimmy Cracker back into the team and it was pretty even with the Saints just getting their noses in front in the first half. As you can see there, St Kilda kicking six goals, four in the second quarter to advance to 9-9-63, leading Melbourne 7-7-49. Well, let's go to the action now at the MCG with some seven minutes remaining in the third quarter and the Saints lead is 13 points. Only about 10 metres away. Viney crashes into that pack. Daniels emerges with the ball. Bowie takes the mark just up from the back pocket. He's had uh, nine kicks and seven handballs. Gives it to Jeffrey. To Jody Arnold taking too long for the second time today, moments ago. No free kick paid for low or sporting. Frank Coglin with a sweeping handball straight to the opposition. Yates. Left foot. Tremendous pressure out there at the moment. The footy very hard to get hold of. It requires courage and concentration, and Daniel showed both to centre half forward low. Up against two Melbourne players. Hughes able to get back. Chance for Rice. Ops will come at him hard from behind. Rice to centre half forward. Winmar. Still Winmar. Chance now for Harvey, who spins his way up. Still with Harvey and Winmar. Quick kick by Harvey. Will it stay in? Yes, it does, and Nixon takes the mark at half four. He's got Bowie short, calling for it. Got low now, looking for a lead. Nixon, two marks, eight kicks. And as Dennis Cometti said a couple of minutes ago, involved in an extraordinary incident after Hickmott was just shepherding him off. Seemed to lose his call completely. Will he kick a goal here? It'll take a very good kick. Drop punt, coming back. What a goal. A beauty. 12-11 to 9-10. Well, a high kick from Rice. Hung in the air a long time. Nixon took the mark. And watch this kick. In running, you would never back it. And yet at the last possible moment, it swung right to left and snuck through. And what a big goal it was, not only in the context of this game, but perhaps the season for the Saints. Handy lead now. We're back in the middle. Coglin goes off the ground. Melbourne need the next goal. Tengay fell over. Keo with a run of it. Keo does well. Kicks through centre. It bounces towards half forward. Johnson hand passes towards centre half forward. Devonport, as he's done all day, stands firm. Kicks it out wide, but it's all Melbourne. Stretch. Possibly Melbourne's best player. Now the Shepherd was too far off the ball, says the umpire. Well, Rice gets the free kick. And I suppose technically the umpire was right. But certainly the umpire putting his stamp on that piece of play as Tengay has claimed. Now I'm not sure that umpires should do that. Clearly it was going to be in the scheme of things a Melbourne ball. It was three against one. The man was 15 metres in the clear. And the umpire decided to pluck a free kick out of that and change the nature of things. Well, if it's the rule, it's the rule. But Melbourne, a little stiff. Steins. Rice has got it. Smothered off the boot by Obst. Brett Lovett timed the release superbly. And away goes Phoebe towards half forward. Viney couldn't juggle it. Knocked away by Devonport. Scramble forward by Heber. Brilliantly taken by Burke, away to Coglin. With a drop punt, low the target. Sporting doing pretty well in this term. Cracker to Bowie. And will he go? Yes, he does. 13-11 to 9-10. And that was an excellent Rovers goal because the handball put him under a little bit of pressure and he was quick enough to control it and snap truly. Now, if you want the story of the game, it's here. Just watch Hughes. The indecision whether he goes to low or stays off. At the last possible moment, he checks. But that was time enough for that man to get free and kick the goal. So 
Melbourne now in deep trouble. They trail by 25 points. And St Kilda showing a lot of fight this afternoon. They're still very much in this competition. Hobbs, the high kick. Pekin with great courage going back after it. Viney away to Tengay. Opportunity for Johnson. Johnson from 40 metres out. Misses. He had a little more time than he knew. And it goes through for a minor score. Remarkable effort by the Saints. They've made a lot of mistakes and still they lead by four goals. Devonport, most impressive. Favours the outer side. Steins is there. Came over the top and fisted it forward. Viney, target practice. Goal. And they're the sort of mistakes that hurt teams. You wonder how Viney can be so free. Well, the answer is the man that's marking him, Devonport, kicked the ball in. St Kilda 13-11 and Melbourne at 10-11. Yes, interesting one there. Devonport kicking the ball in. Viney standing on his own at half forward. Nobody bothering to pick him up. Stein's able to thump it out towards Viney, who turned around, as Dennis Committee said, took target practice and goal. His second today. 89 to 71. Viney with two, and the Viney Devonport clash the most interesting of the day. Both having an effect on the game. It's been a fierce third term. Little love loss between the two teams. Some fierce tackling. And the umpires obviously directed this week to let it go. Ops with a thump away. Burke. Rice. Oh, good turn. And if the MCG was a little better, he would have held his feet. Lowry, good kick. It was a mighty kick. It had Lowe's name written all over it. And Rice was able to get it to Peek and to Lowry, who was able to give it to Lowe. Well, you would back him in from here, wouldn't you? He's had 11 marks, 9 kicks, and kicked 2 goals. And he must finish this off with a goal because there's a minute and a half remaining in this third quarter. There's just three goals of difference. And after inspirational play like that, you've got to kick the goal from 20 metres out. Low, drop punt, steers it and puts it through. Very short of prepared to take a risk, decides not to. Straight down the centre. Oh, and the Saints realising the importance of the situation in the first three quarters anyway, continuing to hold Melbourne out, and certainly great to see Stuart Lowe at his best, his uh, aerial work at the MCG, fantastic to watch today. But with still a quarter to go, the Demons certainly weren't out of it. With just under 20 minutes remaining, they had a lead of some four goals. There are the uh, three-quarter time scores, and you can see there, uh, the D's certainly not out of it, 10-11-71, to the Saints 14-11-95. So let's go to the action now, as I mentioned, with just under 20 minutes remaining, and the margin is four goals. Devonport, it's got Frawley very short if he's prepared to take a risk, decides not to. Straight down the centre. Oh, what a mark! Oh, what a mark! Sensational! Oh, that sends a tingle down the spot, and then a screw punt that cuts up at 80 metres and Phoebe just takes one on the chest to get us all back on a normal kill. That was quite wonderful, Nicky Winmar. Steins, Keo to centre half forward, Bennett on the lead. Oh. And he takes a screamer. Well, we've seen three marks today. One by Lowe, one by Winmar and one by Bennett. That have been unforgettable. Lovell coming on for the Demons. And Heaver off. Now, can Bennett finish this one off? Drop punt. I think he's missed again. Well, he's kicked four points, Dennis, and normally he's pretty safe from 45 metres out. Yes, he kicks it so far. In fairness to him, most of the shots have been at a fair distance, but then again, distance really doesn't trouble him. Accuracy has today as Laurie kicks in in the light rain. Bennett is up. St Kilda's free kick, and it's going to Harding. Interfered with before the ball arrived. This is Jeffrey from half back towards half forward with a kick, and there he is again, the man Mountain. As it turns out now, 
may not have taken the most spectacular mark of the day, but he's taken the most. Grant slid through his fingertips. Phoebe tidies up. Straight back to low. Well, if there was one place you didn't need to kick it in that situation, it was back to this man. He's marked everything this afternoon. 14 marks to Stuart Lowe. They contest about 15 metres out. Winmar from behind. Well, that could be the icing on the cake. Nicky Winmar. Hit his hands. He went back after it. And now will kick at goal from about 30 metres out on a very slight angle. If he gets this one, you get the feeling Melbourne won't be able to come back. Marvellous effort today by the Saints. They've defied the odds. Winmar gets the goal. St Kilda, 15-12, Melbourne, 10-13. Phoebe's clearing kick, not a particularly good one. Lowe, who just kicked it down there, takes the chest mark. And then Winmar, at the second attempt, marks the low kick. So maybe now, a match-winning lead as far as the Saints are concerned. 15-12 to 10-13, 102 to 73. Harding the tap, Bowie to the goal front, Lowe. Hughes with him, and off Hughes's foot, and a throw in. 14 marks and 13 kicks to Stuart Lowe, and Bowie getting stronger and stronger as well as the game goes on with 13 kicks and eight handballs. Lowe versus Steins, body against body, cracker, quick kick, Winmar, who's done some great things, and here's a goal. No, he hits a post, or across the gate to goal and out of bounds. Unbelievable. Well. I've lost uh, my voice for the moment, Dennis. I can't believe he missed it. it was, <laughs> Neither can he. It was going to be just quite wonderful the way he was charging in and getting rid of everybody and going to put it through as easy as you like. But Hughes takes the kick to half back. Peek in the climb from behind, fisting away. Obst. Good player early to Johnson. The defensive side of centre wing. Across his body, Glenn Lovett on a collision course with Devonport, who was a little untidy. This is Keogh. Theo goes long down towards Bennett. Frawley is closing. Bennett almost the mark. Kept his footing. Pulls it back across his body. And even with a snapshot, he's kicking his wayward. Jeffrey escorts that ball across the boundary line. And now Bennett goes across to do the ruck work. Just under 15 and a half minutes remaining in the game. And there's the problem confronting the Demons. From behind Frawley. Bennett wins it away, but... It's going to be a St Kilda free kick. Harding. Plays on quickly to Daniels. He swings it out wide, ill-directed. Stretch takes the mark out there. Stretch. Left half forward. Back towards full forward. Bennett outnumbered. Daniels. Away to Bowie. This is Arnold. From half back. Through centre. Yates is in front. In from the side. Phoebe. Good strong mark to Phoebe. He's had uh, 11 kicks and four handballs. Lyon. Kick to half forward. Love it. Stands his ground. Jeffrey, who's been very good. So is Devonport. And so is Laurie. Arnold, who has some time to balance up on the left leg. Goes to centre half forward. A lot of demons there. Oh, Hughes misses. Bad mistake and caught again. Glenn Lovett. Coughlin did well there. He could have given a free kick away by attacking Lovett, decided not to. Low off one leg, the centre half forward. Bowie with courage. Grant. Yates. Left foot round his body under pressure. The Demons are really under it now. Johnson to stretch. 16th kick coming up. High one. Centre wing. Keogh Goodmark. Did the number 31 proud that time. He's been pretty impressive. Works hard. Strong on the ball. Plays on, according to the umpire. Kicks in towards half forward. In front was Lovett. Harvey got the hand pass away to Arnold. Knocked on by Burke. Coughlin. 
Nicely done by Harvey, but the hand pass a little untidy. Down went Rice. Coglin scrambles it forward. Desperate stuff from these Saints. Lovell. Strong tackle on Hughes. Ball jarred free. Kicked forward by Daniels. This is Newport. Half smothered by Bowie. Steins leads in the race. Steins at left half back. Shoots a hand pass across to stretch. Hard against the boundary line. Glenn Lovett had the superior judgment. On centre wing. Plays on quickly towards half forward. Bennett outnumbered again. Waiting behind, but unable to trap it down there was Spalding. Lovell inside 50. Little chip pass. And Brett Lovett takes the mark. Only 25, 30 metres out directly in front. Well, they worked hard, Melbourne. Just weighted numbers. Edging the ball forward. So Lyon now is in defence. Spalding's on the forward line. John Northey ringing the changes. Brett Lovett for Melbourne's 11. They desperately need it, and I think he's provided it. He has. Four or five to win it. Lovett with a quick kick to full forward. Important bounce. Chance for Viney. Off the ground. Devonport back with him. Still Devonport. And he concedes it behind. So good defensive play by Devonport. Melbourne up to 11-14. St Kilda 15 goals 12. So 102 to 80. Grant Laurie, who's had a very good game, kicks in towards the outer side wing. Steins in front. Failed to take the mark. Put the gloves on. This is Weiss. Coglin. Forward at centre wing. Kicks inside 50. Arnold's the target, and he's taken the mark. Started the game at centre-half back. He's now on the forward line. And will kick at goal from about 40 metres out. Could be the unlikely hero here inside the last 11 minutes of the game. The misting rain almost stopped. And Arnold picked up in the draft last November. Kicking at the Saints' 16th goal. Good effort. I think he's got it. He has. And that could be the game. 16-12 to 11-14. Arnold swung on the forward line. Taking this mark. Difficult kick, although a natural left footer had the angle open up. And he steered it through from long range. Hundred and eight to eighty. Sixteen twelve to eleven fourteen. And surely the Saints are home from here. Hardy. Low. Off the ground by line. Keo. Just got rid of his opponent cleverly. The full forward. Love it. Good mark. Free kick though. To Pekin. Well, I didn't see it, but uh, it doesn't mean it wasn't there. Pekin to Burke. And that's a good kick. Pekin, who's had 13 kicks and 17 handballs. Burke has defended resolutely, hasn't had a lot of stats, but's done all right. Daniels, Jeffrey, who's been excellent all day. Drop punt, looks for low. Well, he's quite wonderful. He really is a joy to watch. 15 marks and goes to the goal square with a good kick. Two Melbourne players down there. Newport, a bit of time. Drop punt. Jeffrey, all courage, and he did it well, and then gives it across to Burke. Burke, in short, spearing pass, Nixon. You sense they've weathered the storm now, Nixon. Arnold growing in stature, offering the lead and taking the mark. Allowed to stand, and the Melbourne fans saying, well, perhaps that was similar to what happened at the other end with Lovett. Different umpire. So Johnny Arnold kicked the last goal and the chance to post his second and put it beyond doubt. Masterstroke, Arnold on the forward line. Who would have thought? The big fellow taking plenty of time, savouring the moment. Much easier than the previous kick. So Arnold... Gets another one. 17 goals on the board now for the Saints. 
17-12 to Melbourne 11-14. And they're finishing right over the top. And, of course, this keeps their finals hopes alive. They came in today in trouble. Only won two of their last five. Their record was six and six. But St Kilda proving to everybody that they're right back in business and do have the necessary to give the top teams a real shake. The Saints by 34 points. The biggest margin of the day. Coglin. And their fans want another one. Rice. Oh, cleverly done. Drop punt. Low. Well, they're on fire now, the Saints. Rice with a little sidestep. And Low will always take those marks. 16 marks today. It's hard to know how to play him. I think the best thing to do is to deflate the ball. Yeah, so it doesn't get that far. Well, he's kicked three, kicked six last week. He's only 25 to 30 metres out, straight in front. And suddenly the Saints are building on percentage. Drop punt, straight through the middle. Four to low and 18 to St Kilda. Yes, a magnificent performance in the end by the Saints. They booted six in that final term, kept the Demons down to four. Final scoreline, St Kilda, 20 goals, 12, 132. Melbourne, 14, 15, 99. The victory margin there, 33 points for the Saints. So the final five is still wide open. Plenty for... Maybe we need something.